Abe Miller. Hey Abe, are there tips for picking up tunes on the fly at jams, even just well enough to participate? I'm struggling to step into the level of sitting in at jams. So big question. First off, Abe, I recently made a post on, and this was a question from the last office hours about how to play at jams and so forth. And it's a big question that I think will require like multiple answers. But the first um, answer I gave last time involved chords and learning simple chords. So, so I'm gonna probably just post a link to that article, Abe, and, but I'm gonna add some other ideas for you. But basically you can learn some simple chords that will allow you to just play along. Don't be afraid to ask somebody, what key is it in, you know? If something is in G, you could almost just play, if it's a fiddle tune and it doesn't switch keys or do anything weird, you can almost just play a droning G chord the whole time. Simplest chord you can do is an open string chord. Open G and D would be G chord. So check it out, I'm gonna sing a melody like um, Arkansas Traveler. So with just a simple droning chord, you can kind of fit in with all kinds of tunes. And the good news is for fiddle tunes, there's G, there's D, which is D and A, and A, which is A and E. Add a hoedown or a tucka rhythm. Short, 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 long, long. All right, so that's the easiest way to get in. The next is you could learn chords and chord progressions. I don't think I'm gonna fully explain that now because I did it in the last webinar and that'll be something that I'll just post after the fact for you, Abe. The other thing you can do is do your best to learn about what the group, the tunes the group tends to play in advance. So if you, you know, if you know somebody who goes a lot, simply ask them, what are some common tunes that this group does? And go and listen to those and try to learn them. You know, there's much, as much preparation as you can do in advance, th that will help you a lot. So, if it's, I remember like when I started going, when I started getting into fiddling, moving away from my other styles, I went to a place in Berkeley, California called the Starry Plow. They had a set of about 50 Irish tunes that they played for an Irish dance. And I just learned them all. It took a little bit of time, but I just learned them all. And you know, you may have to sit out. You know, sitting out is okay. It's better than making it worse. So I would, I would just play as well as I could. I would do like, chords very softly if if I didn't know the song or just listen sometimes it's just better to listen here's another strategy that's new that I haven't talked about for picking up tunes this is cool so I think I did a lot when I, I just remembered this when I started it the story plow was I would just say I'm gonna get one little piece so like Say, say Swallowtail Jig is playing or some tune. Um, what I would do is just try to get the first few notes. So like. So that's the tune. So I would just do something like. So like say I'm singing what the, the song is and, I, and the fiddle part is me trying to play along with it. And then every time that came around, I would just play those three notes. And then eventually I'd start to hear, oh, the I got the first six notes now. I don't got that. And then slowly you put it together like a jigsaw puzzle. You start with the one little piece, you get that, and then, oh, I hear that in this other part of the tune. And then it starts to come together. So that's a way to pick up melodies. Um, this is such a huge question, Abe. I'm gonna try to condense a few other things into it. Another huge practice that you all should do that goes beyond this question is audiation. And 
hope this is not annoying because I talk about audiation a lot, but audiation is hearing music in your head. Such a powerful practice. And basically, the more you practice this, the more you'll be able to hear something and take a snapshot of it in your mind and remember it and play in tune and eventually help you improvise. This is audiation. And it's a simple way to practice. I'm creating some tools on Fiddlehead for this, like play along tracks, but you can do it on your own. All you need to do is play something on the fiddle. So let's do, um, let's take another tune. Beginning of Blackest Crow. So you would play it and then sing it. Do, 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 do. And once you can do that easily, alternating between playing and singing, then instead of singing, try to hear that in your head like you hear a song. So. All right? So this, this is like a practice that will, in the long run, make it much easier for you at jams because it will increase your comprehension of music and what's happening, right? You'll be able to hear more what's happening with people. So the last thing I'll say on this question, and I feel like it it's deserves like four blog posts, but the, is to know your scales well so if a tune is in G or E minor, you can warm up with that, that scale, say it's an E Dorian. Warm up quietly, you don't wanna annoy people, whatever. And then when the tune starts, you're kind of already synced up in a way to it. And it'll, you've already, no, a better analogy is you've, you're like a sprinter. You've placed your feet in the blocks and your, hand, your hands are chalked and you're ready to go. Whereas if you don't do that scale, it's just like you just walked up to the starting line, hey, what am I doing here? So um, I think that's a huge thing. And, you know, and to say another thing I say all the time, like the more you do scales, the better you'll not only play, but I feel like you'll enjoy it more. And the trick, it's to make them fun, all right? The scales, don't, don't listen to people when they say scales are boring. Scales, scales can be the funnest thing you do. I know funnest isn't a word in the dictionary, but it's the word I'm using now. Okay, so anyway, thanks for the question, Abe. Um, if I think of anything else for this question or the other good questions you guys are asking, then I'll, I'm gonna go back and listen to all this I'm gonna, and make a, kind of a summary and index these questions. And uh, I'll add, as you, if you notice from the last office hours, I'll add extra ideas and notes for these questions. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.